The Christian life isn't about just knowledge. The Christian life is about integrating what we learn into our lifestyle. The reason that I came to Dallas Seminary was to learn the Bible better, and that was definitely the major thrust of the classes that I went to. But I would say in addition to that, one of the things that I greatly benefited from for my time here was the input and the investment from the faculty and staff. Beyond their knowledge, they have life experience and experience in ministry that they can share and it just enriches the whole process. The whole atmosphere and the whole environment of DTS is extremely supportive. And for you to miss an opportunity to get that kind of support as you prepare for ministry is a loss that is unmeasurable. In terms of formal settings, preaching, teaching, leading Bible studies, um, I felt like my classroom experience and my experience at Dallas Seminary prepared me excellently. I was ready to go. But in terms of helping uh, people apply biblical principles, the truth of God's Word in their everyday life, I struggle. This is the year for DTS to go through our accreditation reaffirmation process. As a part of this, we've been asked to create a QEP, or a Quality Enhancement Plan. A good QEP should come from feedback from our students, alumni, faculty, and constituents, and focus on an area that will improve the overall learning experience of DTS students. The program selected has been entitled The Compassionate Servant, Developing a Habit of Loving Well. Our hope is to augment DTS's long-standing tradition of deep biblical and theological training with the program that will help further engage our hearts. Many students have accidentally experienced this in seminary, but we want to start being intentional with the accidental through compassionate sacrificial service learning. I took one class this last semester, um, Theology of Suffering, and I had to go around in a wheelchair for a whole day, which was rough. Um, I've never known how hard it is to push a wheelchair up a little teeny tiny incline, um, but opened my eyes to what people with disabilities actually go through. Suffering can happen at the drop of a hat. I mean, there is no warning to when someone's going to be laid off or experience a miscarriage or have someone in their family die. And seminary has helped me have a a broader view of what, of what it means to serve someone who's going through that. The Compassionate Servant Initiative at DTS is intended to offer every student the chance to have just these kinds of experiences during their seminary training. But rather than confine it to an elective, we want to make it an integral part of DTS training, even in the language courses. Every department at DTS is designing assignments that will help bring the truth of the classroom to the poor and brokenhearted. While you're in the classroom, it is so easy. The temptation is always there to focus on schoolwork, to only do projects, to have all of your relationships revolved around DTS students. When you graduate from here, that won't be reality. It pushes us to go out of our bubble of DTS. With those projects making us think about how we can connect what we're learning with the outside world, I think is crucial. You learn by doing, so. When you put things into action, that's when you really learn, and um, you might just surprise yourself at how much you don't really know about something. Our seminary motto is preach the word, and our current slogan at DTS is teach truth and love well. This slogan is born out of 1 Timothy 1.5, where Paul says the goal of our instruction is love, from a pure heart, a good conscience, and a sincere faith. These themes also reflect both the mandate of the Great Commission to make disciples of all nations and the passion of the Great Commandment to love God holistically and our neighbors unconditionally. We at DTS want to equip you to both learn and love with excellence, balancing grace and truth. Our prayer is that the service learning component will equip you to be a more well-rounded godly servant leader. We'll share more with you as the plan develops and we look forward to what God does in the results.